Hi, this is Kamala Whitaker, and I wanted to demonstrate the GUI code generator. This is the GUI interface, uh, GII. Uh, it's part of the GUI uh, framework, and what it does is it's a web interface to code generators, automatic code generators, to, as you can see, create controllers, uh, CRUD generator, forms, models, and modules. So I'm actually going to start with a model generator for my movie ta uh, table in my database. I'll show you just really quick. Here's my, my my stuff database. I have a book category, movie, and user. So I'm going to link in my movie table. Uh, so it auto fills in my model class with the capital M. Um, auto fills in base class and model path. I don't need to change any of that information. We can go ahead and hit a preview. This is what it's going to create is the movie.php file. We're good with that, so let's go ahead and generate. Next thing I want to follow up is with the CRUD generator. Again, this, this is going to link into the, the movie class model generator that we just did. So it'll also auto name the controller ID, the same thing, and base controller class and code template is all fine. I don't need to change that information. You can do a preview. It'll show you all the files it's going to create. As you can see, it's going to create the contr main controller and all the, the views for being able to do basic CRUD uh, input for this table. So let's go ahead and generate it. It did the generation of the files and then creates the, um, creates the controller, which then you can actually view. So we have nothing currently in the movies. Let's go ahead and create a movie. Uh, so let's take, for example, Iron Man 2, released in 2010. And this the format, um, I'll put a I'll put a hint later on, but the format means is do I have it in Blu-ray? Do I have it um, as a downloaded file uh, or is it just a standard uh, DVD? I happen to have it on Blu-ray. So go ahead and create that and now we have the new movie in in the list. And you can list movies. You can go to the movie detail for that one movie. And if you want to delete a movie, it asks are you sure you want to delete this? If you hit OK, you're going to get this error. That's because I'm actually logged in as a user demo. If I wanted to instead log in as admin, then revisit my movie field. And if I go to manage movie and I wanted to delete this movie, again, ask me to do so because I'm now logged in as admin, I am able to actually move, um, to remove movies or remo remove the data from the database. Um, so it automatically assumes that admin is the only one who who you want on your uh, web app to have access to remove data. It's a pretty slick uh, little uh, uh, auto code generator. Um, more detail is available on Yee's website under their documentation. And this was a really great find for uh, fast, um, rapid application development. Thanks.